October or November, I think, we would have gotten to two years straight of watching Red vs. Blue. And so it's going to be really interesting, guys, after this to not watch it and have to find one have to find something to fill its slot too but also just to not see it anymore is going to be a a real difference in my life um for the first half like the first year we were catching up on old material that i hadn't seen in a long time and so it was kind of nostalgic in a really weird way but n the last year or so we've just been watching new material and now we're on the last two episodes of season 18 aka season zero and i gotta say man after such a long and crazy journey with the reds and blues and watching rooster teeth and once again this is even extending to before we started this series it is amazing to see how it's evolved and changed and what it's inspired and it's just going to be really weird not doing it anymore. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle myself after this. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. As always, if you enjoy watching Red vs. Blue, remember to support Rooster Teeth using the links below. They make great content, including this, Ruby, and a bunch of other stuff. And if we want more seasons, which I do, then we got to support them. And yeah, we got to gotta show them some love, guys. So be sure to check out their website and watch it because I'm actually watching this on their website as well. So uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into episode uh, seven of season 18, which is for power part one. And then it's going to probably be for power part two in the next one. A and it should be great, guys. I hope you enjoy this last episode of, you know, red versus blue for now. And if you want to chat with me about it, as always, just hit the comments, check our discord or social medias, all that's all those places are great places to come and chat with us. But yeah, let's uh, let's get it started. Oh, man. Oh, it's a little better, I guess. Oh, we got to get out of the... We'll do it on the last episode. We'll watch the uh, intro since it's only 40 seconds. Once again, this would have tension if I felt she had... Any goddamn basis. What's it? Once again, if you don't like it, then you can do the other option, which was go die. Oh man, you have that option. It's totally up to you. So stupid to me. Just so fucking retarded. Okay. Um. Well, we're just gonna roll into the next episode because we're still going through this kind of. It's also really two parts of the same episode, and we'll do the intro for once. So, Oop. um, I don't know, man. Once again, the the whole thing with the daughter is tough for me because anyone of bending having been in a position for those is just it's a ridiculous thing. We don't have a Hulk. Guess no intro this time, huh? I mean, yeah, I'm in. What, what, what are you doing? I'm releasing the limiter on your armor ability. It doubles their power, but also doubles their energy consumption. Basically, the more you use them, the greater the risk of passing out and falling into a coma. Lovely. I like how he's got like a different sign on his now. Big man in a suit of armor, take that off, what are you? Oh, I thought he was gonna rip it in half, that would have been cooler. I'm surprised she's...
My big one would just be take his weapon. If you can get it away from him, it's an obviously more powerful piece that kind of matches with his armor. Where did those all come from? Grab it. Not yet. I mean, are you? Is that gonna be that? Okay. That was pretty cool. I like that move. It just doesn't do anything to the seat. Okay. The animation is lit this season, but that's going to break it. Ooh. I don't even see it anymore. He really has not been fighting back all that much at all. Yeah, there's there's a ton of ways to uh, get right. All right, so say you uh, stick it rock handle deep in the ground. He blew up the uh, hollow image.
They did all right on the emotional journey portion of this, though. If I felt like she had even a tiny bit of validity in her hatred, I might feel different, but... Like I said, the, the actual journey of the emotional run is fine, as long as you accept that premise. Oh, that is cool. I'm not gonna lie, this power isn't even close enough to burn down a world. You gotta get some bigger guns, baby. How do I feel like he's totally going to get taken over by the armor? He does look cool, though. I, I like the way he looks. He's a little glowy, but I can live with it. Oh, it's one-inch punch. There we go. Redirect the energy. Clean up. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know she could do that. How do I have a feeling this is not going to end in the nice, happy way that they want it to? Where it's just going to be like this. How many minutes do we got left? I'm not sure the camera's going to last five minutes. So what we're going to do is boop. And there we go. <laughs> it's usually a bad sign.
saw this coming. This was, it was pretty well broadcast. Oh, he just took him somewhere else. I thought he'd take over and beat their ass. I think this guy is supposed to be the comedy, but... See, that's fucking funny. That's the comedy. And here comes the outro song. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. I always check just in case there's after credits. I don't think Roof Chief has been doing them in a long time, but you know, I've I've been wrong before. Nope, but uh, that that's it. All right. Um not too bad. Um Definitely subpar to basically every single other season I can think of, including probably Recovery and uh, whatever the other one was like that. Honestly, the PSAs are probably better than this whole season. But it's still worth a watch. I mean, uh, there are, it's different, right? The things that are good in this are different. They are the, the animation. That's in the quality of animation. That's, that's it. Uh, every other level of this, honestly, just my opinion. And obviously, feel free to disagree with me because everyone has their own opinions. But basically, every single level of this was inferior to every other season of Red vs. Blue. I don't know what or exactly made the, uh, such a huge change, but I felt like all of the comedy was not quite as good. Um, and maybe it's because I just don't care about these characters and I hadn't had enough time in eight episodes to really get attached to them, so I didn't find them as funny. But I just genuinely felt like the comedy wasn't as well done, the, the story writing wasn't as well done, although some of it was okay. Um, it, it just felt like not enough. I don't know if that makes sense. And not just in length, but just in everything. It was not quite hitting the mark of what I expect from red versus blue but then again i get this for free so i shouldn't expect jack shit right um having said that i mean like i said by itself it's just fine i mean i don't give number ratings a lot to these things at the end of episodes and maybe i should start doing that but maybe a 6.5 or a 6 out of this one you know something i would watch again but not on my own accord uh someone else would probably have me watch it or i'd watch it to remember stuff right instead of just to enjoy it Having said that, I would love to know what you guys think of this season. Tell me what you thought of the last fight. Tell me what you thought of Zero and the relationship with Danielle and her dad and, and all that great stuff uh, in Discord. You can come to Patreon. You can check out the comments and obviously any of our social media things. You could go there and chat with us. And as always, remember to support the original content creator because if we don't support Rooster Teeth, we don't get another season of Red vs. Blue. And I really want to see where this, how this hopefully builds up into a better seasons in the next season. That's my hope. Uh, finally, if you enjoyed watching with us, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. You can hit the bell to get notifications whenever we drop new content. And if you wanted to see this without all the stuff I have to cut out for YouTube, you know, full audio, full video, uh, check out Patreon where you can get that for as low as a dollar a month. And for $5, you can give it up 
to a month's early access as well as some other benefits. So thank you guys as always for, you know, chilling with me and watching. And I hope to catch you next time on Reactions with an X Red versus Blue, whenever that might be. So have a great one, guys.